we're here at a delay at the airport <laughs> in Philadelphia with the mayor of bodybuilding and Rob Quads from MD.com Forum. So guys, how was the uh, weekend now that we have it past us? It's great. It's amazing. So Evan, Stefani, amazing up there. Branch finally won his model that he was waiting so many years for. Uh, it's a great time. We had a great time. We've seen a lot of guys at bodybuilding, bodybuilders. Jay Cutler, my favorite bodybuilder. <laughs> um, it was amazing. Man. It was a great time. His Man. honor. Is Anna, what do you think about the uh, Arnold Classic weekend that we just finished? It was it was indescribable. Uh, you talk to everyone in the industry, but you can tell by my voice, it was gone by prejudging. Prejudging had nothing to do with it. Never had enough people screaming for him. But you saw uh, interesting dynamics at the show. You saw a rising star in Evan. I haven't seen a guy like this in 20 years. Uh, the fan base is incredible. Everyone. Every 20 year old kid at that venue said, Who'd you like? I asked him, Who'd you like? They said, Evan, Evan. And the fact that they're calling him by his first name shows that Evan has a connection with his fans. And his look is so different. When he comes out, he looks kind of sm smallish, slight, or sleek. When he starts hitting those shots, the striations, and the definition, he, he's a 90s bodybuilder, and that's the highest compliment. Branch Warren won, he got an ovation. Uh, he's just outworking guys. Guys have way better genetics than Branch, but. Uh, the, uh, you know, the guy's just outworking guys with his, his, just his will. He's outwilling guys that really have superior structure and genetics. And also Dennis Wolf looked great. He started rallying later in the pre-judge, started filling up, getting a little fuller and harder. And it kind of, his back is always high, but it looked better when he's lean. And kind of, when you're ripped and lean, it covers up some of your faults. And he posed very well. He won the best poser. And Victor was there. His back was, might be the best back in the show. I mean, thick, he just keeps coming out. And uh, you know the guy's been through a ton, so he keeps persevering mm -hmm. with injuries and personal uh, problems. And uh, Victor's a warrior. And Dexter Jackson, I mean, the guy's great. He's probably the best bodybuilder in the last 10 years, and uh, perhaps he'll uh, you know rebound from this. And uh, Ronnie Raquel, who I thought could have been higher, looked fantastic. Guy just dries the bone, uh, shredded. Very so he's like a for me a more pleasing version, a symmetrical version of a, a Branch Warren. Very pretty shapely for a big, big little man. And uh, just meet everyone. <laughs> This is the best weekend I've ever had us uh, ever at the Olympic Classic. It was great. You mentioned Ronnie Raquel. To me, I think he could have placed as high as fourth. Uh, I think he definitely deserved fifth if he didn't get fourth. Uh, looks like they gave the nod to the uh, veteran Dexter Jackson in that one. Uh, Rob, what do you feel about Ronnie Raquel? He's really come on strong the past yeah. year or so. Yeah, Ronnie looked really good. He was, I think he did get he got fourth. Had to go down. He's pretty ripped, shredded. I think hardest guy on probably up there. His body is amazing. He's working himself up to become a champion. Mm -hmm. so he's there. He's definitely a tight body. His body is amazing. He's got a lot of detail, muscle, cut, separation, shredded. Always oh, shredded. Even at the Olympics, he was shredded. At yeah. the Olympics, he was shredded. I think he should have got placed a little higher. Well, who was your guy's uh, biggest surprise and biggest disappointment on the men's side? I mean, for me, my story when I walked out was uh, really Winkler. The guy has the tools to win that show. He's just got to not worry about being big. He's got to just focus on his back and bringing that up and not worry about being big. If he, if he dries out, you know, he can win that contest. I was disappointed. He, he has all the tools. He won a New York Pro. Yeah. And he has to stop worrying about getting big and just get better. Bring his back in better. He should just listen to his trainer because uh, she's she knows what she's talking about. You think it was maybe too many shows in one year for Roly? I mean, last year this time, it was his first pro show. He placed seventh at the Arnold. I mean, nobody knew who that guy was coming into prejudging, except for the MD board members. It seemed like people were touting him as being a guy to keep an eye on. But he did a lot of shows in this first year. You think maybe he got a little burnout going on? Yeah, I think he should have um, maybe dieted better, maybe come in better shape. Mm -hmm. Maybe go back to what he looked like at the New York Pro Show when he looked amazing. And the auto amateur last year when he won it. Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he maybe needed another week or so. Yeah. He could have really, really tried out. It was, it was a little flat up there. Who was some of the people that you uh, you didn't expect from but maybe shot up there a little bit in the placings? I don't know if there's any big surprises at this show. I mean, I think it was just the storyline was Branch finally winning, mm -hmm. just persevering, and, uh, and Evan emerging. Um, 
those were two good storylines. And Dennis Wolf coming back up. You know, yes. I, I was talking to his wife, and I told her that he's seen the highs and lows of being a pro bodybuilder, and he's still here, and he showed that he mentally can handle it, he can handle losing, and now he's back on track, where he's going to slide right into Olympia in really good form. He looked very happy up there. He should be, I thought. He came back. Those were pretty big storylines there. I think those three right there, but it really to me because he has so much talent, he just he just could try it out and bring up bring up the details in his back. He could uh, he could win that show. There's no question about it. One year pro, the guy could, he definitely has the tools to win to win the Arnold and be a top five Olympia candidate. Absolutely. Switching gears to the women's side, uh, what did you guys think of the way the women's turned out? Iris was not at 100 percent, but. She definitely was the best looking physique on that stage, in my opinion. Any, uh, do you have any I, comments? I like Kathy in front, in front. Kathy, she's got an amazing body, she's amazing. Her looks is very feminine. Irish Kyle, she's, very, she's a very nice person. We talked about plenty of times. Mm -hmm. I just think that uh, she's really something to get rock. Even at the Olympia, you know, I thought she was good too. Yeah. Iris, you know, is Irish. She's just big, big woman. She's yeah. Very big. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't see the women, but Iris is dominant. She's big, yeah. she's shredded. I mean, she seems like a nice person. I just think it's a little too much for us. But, um, you know, I didn't catch much of the women's show. But Kathy Lee, like for me also, she just has a small woman with a lot of muscle, very feminine. But one thing I will say about the women's, they're not opposed. They take their time. And, they really oh, definitely, yeah. Time and posing routine is yeah. a big thing in that in women's the division. Men, the men's posing was not nothing. Yeah. We need to bring like a Melvin Anthony back again. Melvin Anthony always had a yes, very good an posing routine. Posing. When you go to you know you're at the Arnold, you want to see posing. These yeah. guys just came on stage. There was a couple of good ones. Evan Sapani did very well for the Elvis. Yeah. Show and the other. Um, Dennis Wolf, he, you know, he won the It was an entertaining routine, he, he yes, did. Yes, it was, you know, but, uh, I really would like to see Branch come out and go crazy. <laughs> yeah. He's such a big guy, you know, but that hard, hard, heavy metal, where he shows all that muscle detail. Yeah, the posing was very uh, down all this year. Yeah. I think they need to work on that again. And who were some of the uh, MD Forum members? I know you guys had a pretty great turnout uh, this year down in Columbus, Ohio. Who was some of the other people that you guys were hanging out with from the boards? Um, we hung out with uh, you know, MD staff member Ron Harris. Uh, he was great. He's a great guy. Uh -huh. Very, he's just down to earth. Great guy. Active bodybuilder. Uh -huh. again. Um, we hung out with uh, Fitadina, Giles, who uh, works for them now. Juicy Glam Girl and her husband Xavier. And we got to know them, I think, you know, this time around. And we also miss guns. We're getting to know people a little better as people. It's pretty cool. We talked about, you know, 45, so a lot of the stories. I'm like an old fart with the stories of, <laughs> of what this is all about. I tell yeah, guys right. that when it's all said and done, all you're really going to have is some great stories and memories. You're going to hear the pros. All they talk about is, oh, remember when we did this? Remember at goals when we did that? And yeah, yeah. That's really what this is all about. And we did have a nice dinner, and it was, uh, I mean, a new kid, Del Toro, young guy, 23. It's kind of funny watching these young guys all worried about being big. I'm like, I'm glad I'm done with that. <laughs> he looked great, but it's you get to know him. I get to know guys a little more uh, personally and not in a bodybuilding way, and it's nice, you know, sharing the stories, which I have an endless amount of them. So it's, uh, I hope they like listen to them. I enjoy telling them. The shirt was a big hit at the expo too, right? Oh yeah. Let's yeah. get a shot. Let's see what you're covering up for. Let's get a shot of that shirt. No, okay. Shot. <laughs> also, I had two. I had two shirts. I had one. This was for uh, Evan. So he's he's the man, future Mr. Olympia. <laughs> the All American. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. You want to see the, uh, the forum girls or no? Sure. Why the not? Forum, Can't leave here. the forum girls out of the mix. We're not leaving. No. We're not leaving. Wouldn't be right. Up, wouldn't so. be sh chivalrous of us, as gentlemen. Yes, and I met most of them. So. <laughs> Mob's Angels, Little Mama, Fitadina, Juicy Glam Girl, Miss Guns, Nicole Ball, Ty Booty, Debbie Bramwell, and Dana Lynn Bailey. Excellent. Yes, it was, uh, it was fun, you know. Good turnout from the MD crowd, which I'm proud to be a part of as well on the MD forums. Maya and Rob, I'd like to thank you so much for being with us for a few moments here while we wait for the plane to get back home.